I was night blind at 18, so I became aware then I had a problem. I discovered Refsum when I was 50, dramatically, because I put myself on a diet to slim, and as the fat went, so my blood was filled with phytanic acid, which is the problem which Refsum's patients have, and I collapsed, and I couldn't walk, and my vision deteriorated dramatically. So it was a major turning point. Nobody knew what was wrong with me. By a long series of lucky breaks, I was discovered by the one guy in England who knew what Refsum's was. I was very, very lucky. And then he put me onto the Refsum's diet and I have managed to get rid of the majority of phytanic acid in my blood. And I can walk now, although I have neuropathy. Sadly, my sight has more or less gone now. And the tragedy is that had I been discovered as a child having refsums, I would not have the symptoms I now suffer from. I have been fortunate because my sight has gradually deteriorated. So it has been a gradual adjustment. I have a long white cane, which is fine. It finds obstacles and things, but it doesn't tell me where I am unless I'm on familiar territory. And so my hands and touching has become my eyesight. The unknown is more frightening than the known, even if the diagnosis is a rather dramatic one and you don't think that there is going to be a cure. But once you are diagnosed, you know then what you're going to cope with. And with refsums, at least there is something you can do about it. You can stick to the diet. And by being strict with what you eat, that gives one a sense of control. And I think it's important when you have a medical condition to have a feeling that you do have some control over it. In an ideal world, every baby when it's born should be checked genetically. And then there would be no symptoms coming. However, if somebody recognizes they are night blind, because that is the first symptom which becomes obvious to a patient, then in my opinion, they should have the genome done. Most patients don't have that done until they have tunnel vision, which is called retinitis pigmentosa. An ordinary clinic in a hospital, often the ophthalmology department doesn't know about refsins. And now, instead of trying to explain about it, I can say, look up Global Dare website, and I can give them a leaflet. And it's something tangible because many are keen to learn so that in the future it becomes a normal part of medical care and more and more people throughout the world will be rescued from being disabled because blindness is a disability. You can't get away from it. It's blooming inconvenient. <laughs>